Today we're going to be learning how to save pictures from the internet and putting them into our iPhoto library. So from our student page, if you scroll down to the bottom of the elementary links, we want to be going to Pictures for Learning. So it starts with a P, so go down to where the websites that begin with a P are located, and I'll zoom in for you to see. But we want to be going to this website right here. It's called Pictures for Learning. You might hear me refer it to refer to it as Pics for Learning because that's what the website is called, Pics for Learning. Once here you can see that there are popular topics that we could search. Animals, art, Australia, so on and so forth. Well, let's say that we were learning about oceans. If I come over to the oceans topic and click on it, you can see that I also have different categories underneath the oceans. I can find fish, invertebrates, mammals, plants, reptiles, science, sharks. So I wanted to learn a little bit more about plants in the oceans. So I'll click on the plants and you can see that there are some plants. Now some of these aren't really appropriate for the ocean. For example, the daisy or the mosaic treasure chest. I'm not really sure what this has to do with oceans. But we want to find ones that work for us. And so I found a few down here that work for us. Kelp. So let's click on this picture right here. Now, I could download the image and it would go to my downloads file, but I'd like for us to save our image to our iPhoto library. I think that would be the easiest for us to locate. In order to, do, to save this picture to the iPhoto library, we need to press the control button and click on our trackpad. So the control button is located to the left of the space bar. The space bar is the long rectangle underneath the letter B. And if you go to the left, the control button is located underneath the shift button or the Z. So it's spelled C-O-N-T-R-O-L. So take a second right now to locate the control button. All right, if you're having trouble, you can ask a partner later on where the control button is or ask the teacher. But once we've found the control button and have identified which picture we want to save, I'm going to press and hold the control button and click on my trackpad. And once I press and hold the control button and click on my trackpad, you can see a box opens up with different options. I could open this image in a new window, I could save it to my downloads, but I want to add this image to my iPhoto library. So I'll click on iPhoto library and you can see down at the bottom it's starting to bounce. That means it's starting to import into the iPhoto library Please be patient when you see the, um, the color wheel spinning. It means it's loading in. And sure enough, under my last import, you will see that picture of the kelp. If you get this error message, you just need to try again or try a different photo. So I can go back. And let's say I wanted to try and sa save um, this picture. Once again, I'll press and hold control, click, and add image to iPhoto library. And there it is under my last import, there's that picture. Now when, I'm, when I know it's imported, I can just click this red circle with the X in it, and it will close out of that iPhoto tab and take me back into Safari. Now I could use the back button to go to the last page I was at, I could go under different categories. I could also go to the home button. So if I click home, it will take me home. There's also a search bar. Now, I gotta warn us, there's not every picture we want in here. For example, if I go in and just type outer space, you will see that no images were found for the search. But if I be more specific and I type in Jupiter, Here are some pictures of the planet Jupiter. So sometimes you might not get exactly what you want and you might need to um, change your search a little bit or change the words that you're using. But once again, if I want to go home, I can click home. Later on in the year, if we found pictures that we want to add to Pics for Learning, we could always contribute to it and upload the pictures that we took on our camera to this website. So today I want you to go through the website I want you to find pictures. Try to pick a topic that you've been studying or learning about in school. 
either a book or science or social studies, some topic that's meaningful to you, and try to find a few pictures, two, three pictures that you can save into your iPhoto library.